Good evening. You're watching the Financial News Network. I'm Jeffrey Parrish. It looks like Samsung has won this round of tablet wars, successfully defending their new Galaxy Tab 10 from being banned on the grounds that they copied Apple iPad's design. Judge Colin Burris announced today that while the two products may look similar superficially, the Galaxy Tab isn't as cool as its competitor. In fact, he even admits that, quote, they, the Galaxy Tab, do not have the same understated and extreme simplicity which is possessed by the Apple design. Samsung, in a press release, stated that, quote, should Apple continue to make excessive legal claims in other countries based on such generic designs, innovation in the industry could be harmed and consumer choice unduly limited. Apple responded by saying that this kind of blatant copying is wrong and it is said many times before that we need to protect Apple's intellectual properties when companies steal our ideas. Apple will have 21 days to appeal Burse's decision. In another negative ruling for Apple, London High Court found HTC not guilty of patent infringement on Apple's swipe to unlock feature on their HTC products. The British judge said that Apple's slide to unlock feature was an obvious development in light of similar functions on earlier Swedish handsets. Also denied were Apple's claims on patent infringement for their multilingual keyboard, multi-finger touch-sensitive systems, and image drag-and-drop screen animations. In the U.S., however, Apple won its case regarding Samsung's Galaxy Nexus smartphone. Samsung and Google now are redesigning the product and will be releasing updates and different-looking versions in the near future. Rulings are limited to the countries and jurisdictions in which they were given, so Apple is free to challenge the ruling elsewhere. But let's face it, when you make the top-selling product, everyone else is going to try to imitate you. On the news, Apple is up almost a percent at $611.51 per share on an average volume of 13.84 million shares. For more updates, keep it right here to the Financial News Network. I'm Jeffrey Parrish.